Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about um, whether you sometimes, mostly or always even, feel pressured by the competition <clears throat> when you're auditioning, when you're taping. And we're going to actually dig into that and get to the actual truth of what's happening so that you can start swimming through that, under that, over that, and get on the other side. So usually what I hear actors say a lot <clears throat> is that it's just a fact that this industry is like that. There's a lot of competition, there's a lot of actors, and therefore there's this feeling that, well, I want to get to certain types of roles or a certain frequency, I want to act more, but there's so many of us that it's kind of impossible. So the general context in which actors are moving through this profession is there's too many of us. That's one thing. And you may have felt that or you may have believed that for as long as you started being an actor, just knowing, oh, that's true. There's too many of us, not enough roles. So that's a problem and that's unchangeable. So that's the first thing. Then second, when you do get an important audition, a juicy one, something that you want, you may be thinking, oh, but there's so many more actors who have access to this audition. So I'm competing against them to see who's going to get the part. And maybe some of them, you know, are more known than me. Some of them have more credits than me. Some of them are maybe better actors than me, a bigger names. They have a better face. They have a better body. They have a better agent. And so there's a lot that comes in there. And when you're taping, you may even think that more because you're thinking, oh, if it's a tape and not an in-person audition, they're seeing even way more people. So there's even a bigger competition. So maybe they'll never even get to my tape because there's too many of us submitting. So the feeling, of course, when you're thinking that way is you might be spiraling. You have an audition, but you're spiraling around how many people are going to fight against you and how much you need to be better and how much you need to work harder. It's a lot of efforting and it's a really like a yucky sensation because you think you have to be better. You probably think you have to be the best. You're afraid that someone's going to be better. So it's, it's, um, it's really what, what it's doing to you is basically it's making you feel like you're not in power. It's making you feel like you're in the middle of a struggle, a fight, a war, whatever you want to call it, a battle against each other. And so your energy is hanging out there. That's where your frequency is. And energy is everything. So the result that you get from that is that, um, well, you'll, you'll be in your ego. You'll be in your ego and you might try to get more coaching, try to get, you know, a better coach to act you, to help you at the moment of, of the audition. Sign up for more workshops, more acting classes, more studios, more books, more therapy. Like you're just going to do more and more. But what you're going to get is the same result, which is there's always that many actors and I still need to get better than them. And so it's a spiral in which you're being caught at the moment of the audition, which is when the door opens, when you get the opportunity. All of this competition starts to pressure you. You don't feel good enough. You have to be better than others. You work harder. And at the end of the day, where your energy actually is, your artistic energy is busy struggling in its ego trying to be better than others, fearing that someone will be better, trying to be the best, okay? And for some of you who know me, you may know where this is going to go, but the thing is, like, this doesn't work. As you may have noticed, no matter how you try to beat the competition or get over it or better than it, you're still in your ego. And so it's not, there's no satisfaction. It's not fulfilling for you to do that and of course, it doesn't work for the casting director who's actually wanting to see you give up your ego and your life so that your energy can defend the character's life. 
And so if any part of your energy is busy in this battle of trying to be better than others, comparing yourself and all of that, it's actually not in creative mode. It's in survival, trying to win, trying not to lose, trying to not feel not good enough, trying to be better than, pushing others down so you can feel up. All of that energy, all of that ego energy is toxic and it's not creative. When you're in survival mode, you can't be in creativity. Okay, so what the casting director is actually looking for is for you to have let go of that ego a while back in your work so that you can fully show up whole, complete, as a full human with all the colors of your being, with all the colors of your humanity so that you can actually devote yourself to the character's needs not to your needs, which are to book the role, but to the character's needs, who is in a different set of circumstances and who's trying to get something. We want your energy to be going for them, not for you. And so the reason why you're doing that is because there's a false problem. You're considering the fact that there's a lot of you and you have to be better than others. And you learned that at school. You learned to compare yourself in your conditioning, in your education, in the way you were raised, in the way you were wired. You were compared to others. You were graded. You were put against each other. There was better students, medium students, bad students. And that's how your brain has been developed. And so because of that conditioning, you're believing a false problem, which is that you have no inherent value. Just you being in your uniqueness, being who you are, head to toe, without trying to change anything, without trying to fix anything, without trying to be confident, just being beautifully fucked up like you are, you don't believe that that is all the value and all the wholeness that you're looking for, all the aliveness that the casting director is looking for, all the truth that the character needs. You don't consider that. You're looping in your conditioning, you're there in your wiring, in how you've been shaped by society and culture, which is, I need to fight against others because this is not enough. I need to be better. Only if I'm better, then I have worth. So because you believe in that false problem, you're doing this false solution, right? Which is putting all of your energy and trying harder, getting workshops, getting a better coach, going to a celebrity coach or whatever, trying to do more, get more from the outside, buy more of your worth so that you will finally stand out. And of course you get to a false solution, a false result, which is it doesn't feel great. No matter how hard you try, you're still in the struggle mode of comparing yourself to others for your worth, of trying to be better in order to book. And you're just reinforcing that ego that you're not good enough, that others are better, that you need to do so much more in order to reach a sufficient level of worth when the truth, the real truth, is that you were born perfect. You were born everything and nothing and specific, uniquely you. You are everything you need. You are the medicine that you're looking for, the book that you're looking for, the workshop that you're looking for, the shrink, the guru, you name it. You have it all. Your job as an actor is to bring full aliveness and you were born with that full aliveness. So the problem is not to beat the competition because that's the false problem. And then the false solutions and strategies that you're finding, which is to be better and better than the competition, which gives you no satisfaction, less and less worth, no life to the character and no booking. But actually to the solution is because you've been conditioned to believe that you have to beat the competition to actually move through that conditioning to start peeling off that conditioning, to start looking through that conditioning, to undo, to unprogram, to unlearn, so that you can go back to the truth of who you are, 
which is in an invaluable, perfect human being, nothing needs to be fixed. Nothing needs to change. Nothing needs to be better than others. If you can show up fully you, then you're devoting yourself to your character. You're not busy trying to be better. You're busy actually defending the character. And that's when the casting director can see you. That's when they can experience you. That when, that's when they can taste you because you're actually there. If I'm busy trying to be better than the competition, trying to look better, look good, look confident, look prettier, look whatever, smarter, wiser, more talented, I'm not defending the character. I'm busy with my ego, right? So competition is just the result of your wiring and you're trying to strategize to beat the competition all the time and therefore you get no result. What's really happening is you were born splendid, perfect, finished, whole, complete, and you were wired to not be that, to change that, to compare, to compete. So what the work to be done is to undo that belief so that you can be with your truth, which is perfect. And from there, you can show up fully present. From there, you can be seen, experienced, and defend the character fully with all your aliveness. So competition is not the problem. The resistance, the conditioning is the problem. So if you feel like you need to start doing this work so you can stop spiraling down, so you can find yourself again, get into your guts, into your instinct, into your freedom, into your authenticity with flow and ease and joy. If you feel like you're ready to go back to that, then casting will see you. Then you'll be noticed. You can type free 100 in the comments and we can send you some um, free information about this. We can send you some information so that you can start this route back into showing up like a real human being, not like a dog on a leash that's trying to be other dogs on a leash. You're a beautiful, fantastic, splendid human being and you deserve to get that back. You deserve to live from that place. You deserve to act from that place. Your characters deserve to be defended from that place and your fulfillment, your joy is just waiting for you. So again, type free 100 in the um, comments and we can send you some information so you can start doing this work so that when you audition, you feel the joy, you feel the fulfillment, you feel really committed to your character's needs and not a single molecule of your energy is busy with the competition, with thinking how many of us are here, is someone gonna be better than me, am I less good than others? That won't be present anymore because you'll actually be a true, real human being, busy defending your character's needs, busy being an artist and not an ego madly defending itself against other imagined egos. So I hope this made sense. Again, you can type free 100 in the comments and um, we can, hi Claude. Um, Um, and we can send you some free information so you can start on that journey. All right. Thank you guys. See you soon. Bye.